traffic intersections and onto a straight piece of road where we can try these bars out in this Baby, are you fussing to me? You want to go ride in the, in the bike too? Huh? You want to go swim? Okay guys, today's little quick little video is about cleaning up the bike shop area. I love my little feedback sports bike lift that I got from REI. I borrowed my friend Jeff Dunn's stuff up in Virginia when I started getting back into bicycling. And he had a little different brand, a little different model. But the idea of having a bike stand in your house is, you know, if you're going to do a lot of it, it's nice to have. So anyway, I went to REI, used up some of my points from my hunting and camping equipment and, and cashed my points in towards this thing. I'm really happy with it. It does BMX bikes, triathlon bikes, touring bikes, road bikes. It does it all. If I'm worried about a carbon frame mashing up in it, I just take some of this cheap packing foam and put it in there and protect my frame. But this is my little bike shop area, guys. And what I want to do today is I want to run down to Home Depot and get a 2x4 to run along the ceiling here and put some hooks on it. Just because, you know, I'm starting to acquire quite a few bicycles. I've got, so i got two BMX bikes, a mountain bike, a daily commuter bike that has the ability to hook the trailer on. You saw that in the old triathlon training videos when I was pulling Jove around with the dog trailer. And then I've got the new triathlon bike, the one I'm actually going to race the Ironman with. So I've got five bicycles. And I need a place to kind of put them all together and keep them in an area tight and out of the way. Because other than the road touring model, I don't really ride them all every day. So anyway, I need a nice area to hang these bikes up out of the way. And I think if I go from this, I don't know what you call that, cross member. It's not a stanchion, but if I go from there across to this area that's over the dryer and the washer and I just hang a 2x4 across that it won't be level but so what it doesn't have to be level it just has to hold hooks up in the air so that's what I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna get a 2x4 long enough to just go across there and just hang the bikes up nice and easy the whole thing might cost me when I'm done I don't know 15 20 bucks to buy a 2x4 and some hooks but that'll give me a nice place to hang the bicycles up out of the way. Let's walk this off and see how what kind of length we need. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So an eight foot two by four is not quite gonna span that. So I'm gonna try to buy a 12 and just let a few feet hang out over there and hang parts off the end of it or something. All right, so there's the top part, guys. What do you think, Yoda? Am I doing this project correctly? Yep, Yoda thinks I'm doing it right. All right, here we go. Okay, guys, for $20.89 at Lowe's, I don't know if you can see that, these five S hooks for the five bikes, some vinyl protectant to cover the hooks to protect my rims, and the two by four. So let me start cutting some of this vinyl tubing and covering up some of these ends up here and, and uh, see what that looks like. Look, I got all the rest of that roll left over to use. If I bought a purpose-built bike rack for $100 or $80, it probably would have only fit a few bikes. And I wouldn't have had any spare parts left over when I was done. So, 
by going to the hardware store and getting twenty dollars worth of stuff I got all that tubing left over we can do the same job and look guys the main re the main reason I'm really doing it this way the main reason is because I wanted to be uh oh I'm not gonna be able to rotate that am I yeah I bought too long a piece of wood I wanted to be able to hang these like this okay on the 2x4 like that I gotta be able to turn that 2x4 sideways I don't have a choice but when I'm done and these hang like this I can slide them see I can move them that's what I wanted I wanted to be able to move the hooks and change my distances so I gotta be able to do something about turning this 2x4 sideways which means I'm gonna have to cut it shorter I don't have a choice all right that looks perfect it looks like the height is right looks like it's going to stack just nice all i got to do now is just take some pliers and rotate these 90 degrees hey guys here we are bending these 90 degrees that I think that's gonna work pretty good we've got got all the hooks facing the right way I got four bikes the four bikes that I don't ride every day comfortably stacked up and out of the way um, I use the fifth hook out here I'll hang accessories and tires and other stuff off of it this bike here I ride every day it's the one I take to the YMCA not every day but three times a week so I'll leave that out and just leave that on the ground but but these four bikes here can live in this little nook what do you guys think 20 bucks and including the time it took me to drive to Lowe's Home Depot didn't have the hooks I wanted so including the time it took me to drive to Lowe's and building it I probably got an hour and 15 minutes in it so 75 minutes and 20 bucks and that solved my my storage problem. Where are your helmets, guys?